Hello and welcome back to Mrs Hewitt's Spelling at Home. Today our root morpheme is a very common one. There are lots and lots of words that we're going to do today. So um, it is this one, fur. Okay, and that is from the Latin ferre, which means to carry or to bear. Um, bear as in bear weight. Um, so it's that really that carrying sense of carrying something. Okay. Um, so just like usual, I'm going to show you the grid. You can see just like yesterday, we had loads and loads of words. Um, we have got lots of prefixes. I really want you to try and do a lot of the thinking today. So when you have written your word sums down, before you play the rest of the video and you see my explanation, I want you to really have a think about what these prefixes mean and how they're going to contribute to the meaning of the whole word and how that might um, link in with what you know about the meanings of the words as they come out as a whole, okay? So you need to be thinking about you know, what do we know about, for example, trans or pre or con, okay, and how that then contributes to the whole word. That's your job before you unpause me today. So get ready to pause that video and I'll pop the grid up to the screen and you can write your word sums at home, okay? Okay, so let's have a look at um, how many words you managed to get. I obviously haven't managed to write them all down because there are a whole load of words coming from that grid. Um, there's lots and lots of words for today. So start at the top, probably one of the words that you're going to use most often in your writing, which is different or um, difference. Now, again, quite a common mistake that people do make in their spelling, especially when they're just learning to spell, is that when you say different you actually don't hear that fur in the middle you just hear diff and rent so you get different without that e but actually because we know that it comes from that fur in the middle we've got diff fur rent and this diff here would have been from dis um, and then like we remember with um with other words it assimilates doesn't it it changes that f changes to a double f because this word, uh, this morpheme also starts with an F. So we've got different, different, and that dis, um, dis meaning not, isn't it? So, um, so not carrying, not the same, um, basically, therefore different, okay? Different or difference um, is obviously like a difference between it as well. So that's um, one of those words you could have. We also have lots of words that start with the re, and we end up with that, uh, the sound of ref. So referral, ref referee, um, referenced um, and there were lots lots more you could have got as well um, remember re meaning back or again okay that sense of kind of doing something passing it through so a referral if you think a referral is when you ask somebody to do something or you're passing a form over you're you're carrying it over you're doing that again you're asking them to do that okay so we've got referral a referee um, is a person who does the referring so you in a sense, I suppose, you refer to them to make a decision, don't you? You ask them to make a decision. So we've got referee and referenced as well. Um, and you can see there one of our spelling rules. So we're crossing that E out when we add the ED. Now I need to talk to you about these double R's, okay? Because we have got, when we're adding our suffixes to the, um, directly onto the first, so not when we've got um, reference but when we've got certain suffixes the verbal ones um, these we do double the R there okay and this is quite an uncommon doubling because normally we double when we have a short vowel sound this is a different sort of double doubling con um, consonant so it is to do with the stress of the vowel okay so for here we say referral because we need that to sound like an R uh, OK, that is why we have a double R. So referral, um, whereas with reference, we don't say reference, we say reference. So the stress isn't on that um, R, so we don't double the R. So if you need to say the R sound, you need the double R. OK, so like transferring, we do need the double R because the fur does sound like fur. Um, but if I can think of and find another example, um, oh, referee, and um, we don't say referee, we say referee, and it just has that, and we don't double the R when we add these. It's all to do with that sound of that R, uh, whether we double that R or not, okay? It's quite a tricky, um, a tricky one, this, because it's to do with the stressing of the syllable. So if we say that R, uh, um, that is when that syllable is stressed, and we do need the double R, okay? So um, for transferring, 
we do need it we do because we are saying we try we don't say transferring we say transferring okay that's how you pronounce it so okay we did reference and um, we talked about transferring there i don't know if you did um, remember what trans mean it means actually meanings across or through so um that sense of transferring something of passing it across to somebody else carrying it across um and then we have um just we had different up here we've got indifference down here so the in meaning not so if you're quite indifferent you're not bothered about it okay um you don't have a different opinion uh, this is something you were doing your reading so we've got inference okay inference um and we again only one half inference because we don't say inference but we do say inferred and when we say inferred we have a double r when we say inference we have a single r it's also that pronunciation it's going to be really good when you write your spellings out in a minute because you need this is the, that's the bit you need to be getting okay so we've got um inference um again in inside of so that kind of carrying through what you can see within your writing isn't it so inference is that whole show not tell um so it might not be explicit there but it's carried within the writing or within the um story you can infer okay um we've got circumference um circum meaning around so the circumference is the edge of the circle if you go all around the edge of the circle that's what the circumference is or around the globe um We've got preferred, listen, preferred, therefore it is a double R. Um, again, pre meaning towards um, or before, so having that preference for something. Oh, I said preference, um, one R. Um, so preference, so actually um, liking something more really, isn't it? Um, coming at the top, carrying to the top or carrying in front of. And then I've put at the bottom there conference because I want you to talk about, see if you can remember what that con means. Again, we did it from yesterday with sign. The con meaning with. So again, if you confer with somebody, you actually have a chat with them, you discuss with them. So you're carrying your ideas between the two. Okay, and a conference is the um, the noun where everyone comes together for a big discussion. So con meaning with. Um, so again, conference, if we had conferring or conferred, we would need two R's because we are saying furs. <laughs> we are adding it. Um, we are adding that um, suffix on. It starts with a vowel. Confers only has one R because um, we're not adding a vowel on, but conferring and conferred, definitely two R's. Okay, um, that's all I've got on my list. There were lots, lots more. And again, as you come down across here, um, you've got somewhere you would need to um, adjust your ending. So you would take the E off when you add the ION for differentiation. Um, differently you could have down there the biggest thing though is about getting that double r right so i need you to choose some words so choose i don't know transferring and referral and inference and inferred and whether you're going to have to put that double r in at the end of that fur or not that is the big important spelling rule from this um okay that is all i am going to say today i've gone on quite long but that's because there are lots of words and that's a new rule really that double r at the end of the fur talk about the stressed syllable okay so you need to think about and really understanding what i mean by stress when the emphasis is on that syllable in the word okay so that is it for today and i'll be back tomorrow with some more mrs hewitt's spelling at home bye <laughs>